Listen, this is the most ridiculous shit you've ever seen. It's so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, we're making some progress. Cute, cute. I didn't know where to put my Disney ears and since we're on lockdown, I like hung them up over here. I don't know how I feel about them yet. I think it's because it's not aligned with like the toilet that's why it's bothering me. I have to figure out this whole mess and this might be an all day thing. So we'll figure it out. Hey, what's up? Good morning, everyone. I'm gonna put on my glasses so I don't look ugly. What's up? Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another vlog. This vlog is gonna be me at home, essentially quarantined, cleaning my room, doing the normal stuff that I normally do, and figuring out how to makeshift um, my workout. So come along with me. listening to this coffee talk for a little while and it's probably my favorite coffee talk or podcast it's probably my favorite podcast that i've been listening to if you look through mine like i've literally listened to like so many of them and there's a new one so i'm excited to um listen to this while i go at it and then and then i oh my god my filming is going crazy everyone here is concerned that we're out of toilet paper and we still have a whole like six rolls. I think I'm gonna also take my nail polish off because this is really disgusting. If you're curious as to what my current setup is, this is what it looks like. My tea isn't very good either. It's really gross. <laughs> but whatever, I'll just keep drinking. Look how good my freaking fruit bowl is. I am like so excited. I literally ate part of it. It has Greek yogurt with some cherries, strawberries, bananas, pineapple, chia seeds, granola, peanut butter. Ooh. I did my eyebrows because I'm tired of feeling ugly. And I also made some green tea. Put some almond milk in it. Not a good decision. It's not like the matcha powder, it's like the regular matcha green tea. Not a good combination. But now I'm gonna edit this vlog. Um maybe fix my brows too. <laughs> if you're curious as to what my current setup is, this is what it looks like. My tea isn't very good either. It's really gross. <laughs> but whatever, I'll just keep drinking. I made this list because I was like, everyone's getting so bored. I made this list and I've done this already. I did my yoga. I cleaned. Um. I should meditate. Um, my expenses, I have them in this calendar, so I'm going to do that probably later. And then I think my books are over here. 
I like piled them up in the back of my nightstand. So I've had like a couple books that I've been trying to read for a long time. This one, this one, and then this one. So we'll crack down on these pretty soon. I've resorted to my typical spot in this little corner that I usually like to talk to you guys. Um, it's been like a wild few days and I think especially in healthcare, um, it's getting like a little bit scary. Our last um, huddle that we had, we were talking about essentially how if we all end up getting sick or getting sick from COVID-19, the people who are least sick are the ones to work, which is crazy because it used to be like if you have a cough or if you have something respiratory, just stay home. But now it's like whoever is like least sick, that's who's gonna work. Which is like really dangerous to me and I don't know how that's gonna pan out but when we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But other than that, another thing that's a little bit concerning not just here at my hospital but like literally at every single hospital is the fact that we're running out of supplies. The first time I noticed it was when I'm only fitted for like the N95 mask but um, I've used the duck bill before. I don't feel like the duck bill works really well with me, but um, if you don't know what the duck bill is, maybe I'll include like a photo. It looks literally like a duck. It's orange. It looks like a literal duck. And I'm trying to like keep light of everything, but it's really frustrating, especially when they're starting to put like our lives at risk. Um, another thing was the fact that they keep constantly changing a lot of the regulations. One of them was that we'd have to wear that pepper. I'm gonna include the, like, I, again, I'm like trying to keep it light. Um, I'm gonna include the little, like, snippet photo that one of my friends from work had um, taken of me when I was in the pepper. The pepper is a suit, it's like that white suit with the oxygen thing attached to you behind, and like, it's a, like helping protect you. I feel like I'm a lot more safe than that as opposed to just wearing the N95 and a face shield. Um, but now they're saying all you have to do is wear the N95 and face shield and I think that these regulations are insane because they keep changing but it keeps decreasing the amount of PPE we're wearing and I think it's solely based on the fact that we're running out of resources. Another thing was like, oh, it used to be only these um, rule out patients are to be in and in negative air pressure rooms but now they're like you can literally put them in any room it doesn't matter as long as they're in an enclosed room and it's only because we're running out of resources that's what i feel like and i get that this virus is really like evolving and like changing and spreading i think that's why it's so important for us to actually be taking a lot of like these social distancing things seriously on my run i started to get like freaked out i tried to take the route where i wouldn't have to click the the button to cross the street or I would literally just sprint across the street which is like a little bit unsafe but whatever <laughs> um and yeah so many things are closing and I literally planned my birthday on this like little duffy boat and I like rented it out and I just saw on their Instagram that they're gonna be closed till I don't know when um I th I'm thinking maybe I should just um call them to cancel it because of the fact that it's going to be in April, but I feel like we're still going to be in the same exact position in April, if not a little bit better. I feel like it'll get worse before it gets a lot better. But yeah, I have the next six days off and we will just be recuperating and figuring all of this out. It's so sad because I like literally had my schedule. I was supposed to get my nails done today for beyond. But... I'll see you guys later. I'm just gonna chill out, maybe listen to some podcasts, read some books, and do my nails. Also, I don't even know what else to talk about. The whole N90, or the whole situation is really scary, and I think it's important to just stay safe and stay grateful for the fact that we still have food, wa running water, and we're still able to like function 
semi-normally. So I know a lot of things are changing, especially with the colleges and everything, but tr everyone's just trying to stay positive in the light of the situation. So yeah. my alarm that Elenium's gonna play at 3 30. <laughs> this is my life now. <laughs> is this Elenium or not? Because if it's not Elenium, I'm not watching. So Beyond got moved to June and I was honestly thinking of just selling the ticket because What's even the point? The only way I would really want to go again is if Elenium was there. Who is this? This is not Elenium. Who is that? Okay, no. Back to my book, I guess. Also, if you've never heard of this book, it's called So Much I Want to Tell You Letters to My Little Sister Anna Akana. And she's a YouTuber, I'm sure people have heard of her, um, essentially, like, when she was, <laughs> I don't know, she kind of tells, like, her life story, and I don't know why it's so entertaining to me, but her sister, like, committed suicide when she was, like, really young, and she talks about a lot of different things, and I don't know, I just like it. <laughs> it's just a pretty cool book that just tells, like, what are those called? Um, coming of age story, I guess, but it's actual like real life. I've been reading a lot of like nonfiction, like all of these ones are all nonfiction. When I was a kid, I used to hate nonfiction, but I don't know, as I get older, it's more like you like the self help and education books, so that's what's been going on. And I also ordered some eyelashes because I feel super naked without my eyelashes. I really wanted to get my eyelashes done, but I don't feel like it's technically, like, safe because of what's going on. I also wanted to get my nails done, but I don't know how safe that is. But I will probably do them later, if not just take off this white polish because it looks really ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so this chapter is about essentially, like, racism, and I just wanted to, like, acknowledge something. I think I literally looked it up on YouTube earlier, and I'm going to pull up the footage. Something that really bothered me earlier was the fact that, like, the COVID-19 isn't being properly, um, it's not properly associated with the right name. So, our own president is literally okay, so calling you, it the Chinese virus. Hold on. Why do you keep using this? A lot of people say it's racist. It's not racist at all, no. Not at all. A person at the White House used the term... So essentially what happened was people are asking, why are you calling it the Chinese virus? Why aren't you calling it by its proper medical name, which is COVID-19 or coronavirus? And essentially he's just like pushing it under the rug and saying that he's calling it by what it is, which isn't necessarily true because the medical term, we do not call it the Chinese virus in the hospital. It's calling, it's like perpetuating what is it xenophobia and it just really bothered me and just like reading this and how like racism was so prominent at this time it's like still prominent now even though people think that it's like completely gone it will never be completely gone it's something that will continue to happen if people like think it's okay to call people names and perpetuate like these stereotypes and saying things like the Chinese virus, it's not the Chinese virus, it's called COVID-19 or coronavirus. So please do not call it that. Okay, so I'm gonna write out all my expenses on here so I'm more like aware of them, I guess. So I like pull up, I use Chase, Discover, and Varo. My Varo is my savings, my Discover is like my main card that I use, but then I just pay it off every beginning of the month so I don't get charged like that interest rate so let's see we're gonna figure out how much I've spent in the month of February and then I'm gonna start filling out for March even though March is nearly like over I really should just have like a manual calculator 
but I haven't used one of those in years. Trader Joe's. You can tell which days I work because a lot of the time I work, I don't spend any money. So you'll have like three days where I don't spend any money. So plus 27, 17. Okay, so my hotel was refunded. So, so Pokey on March 6th. Wow, I really didn't buy a lot of things for a long time. When I was at that yoga studio, I literally always bought Trader Joe's. Like every single time I would go because I would buy green juice right after. I should probably check because my Amazon account is linked and my family might use it. So let's see what the heck was bought. So usually what I like to do is I will end up like categorizing them. But nowadays I just like to calculate how much I'm spending every day so that I'm just like aware. Or every month at least. So right now I'm trying to come up with more video ideas. Um, one video idea that I wanted to talk about for a while was my pre-shift anxiety video um i think i'll film a bunch of them tomorrow so tomorrow may just be a filming day for me um i'm trying to upload every day that i am like under my self quarantine so that will be my goal um it also keeps you really occupied what i noticed was um when I was uploading every single day for Vlogmas, it kept me very occupied, especially because Alex was gone for Christmas and it just helped me feel like less lonely. So that's what I really like doing because I like talking to you guys through like the comments or things like that. So yeah, that's one thing. And then I also really wanted to talk about, I was talking with my sister about like school and stuff and it, um, I wanted to do this video for a while. Um, my 2.0 GPA to registered nurse video and I'll talk a little bit more about that whenever I get to that video um, and then And then I always wanted to do my like weight loss video because if you've been watching me for a little while You'll look back at my old videos and you'll see that I was like 13 pounds heavier So I want to do that video and then what else? I wrote them down somewhere in my notes, but I lost them. But this is probably going to be the end of today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.